Oh, hello there. Yes, I'm making this and I'm being a little but bit of a jerk while I'm making this. But November 18th of this year, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet releases and I'm going to be doing a 24 hour stream and I would like to see you all there. That's right. November 18th. That's a Friday 24 hour stream. I will be doing it and I will be having fun. So come on by. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, do all that stuff, and yeah, we'll have fun. So this happened on Sunday, making this Monday, putting it out Tuesday, but, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, uh, I, I found this Kotaku article to be just, you know, special needs, let's say it at that. And I'm using it more as a clarification tool because uh, Elon Musk has banned, well, suspended, permanently suspended the H3H3 podcast, Kathy Griffin, and several other comedians, comedians, for parody. Well, what they claim to be parody, but was actually breaking the rules. You cannot go on and pretend to be somebody else. This happened with Milo Yiannopoulos when he said that he was a worker for one of those weird woke companies like Kotaku. But it was it started with a B, I could have swore. I want to say Vox, but I feel like that's wrong. But he said he was a writer for one of them and he got banned for it, permanently suspended because he was impersonating somebody. So, in the rules, it says you have to be, for me, Dermy Wormy parody. If I was a parody account, it has to be parody in the name. Now, a lot of this article is saying that people weren't doing that. And, well, people definitely were doing that. And they use Ethan Klein as an example. But what Ethan Klein did was he put parody in the picture and then parody in the bio and that's what a lot of people were doing saying that it's in the picture and then in the bio not in the name so that's why they were getting suspended warning strikes things of that nature and they were getting taken down because they were impersonating elon musk now lefties hate elon musk don't know why i mean he runs the biggest green the biggest electric car company in all of america and all the world but they hate him but we're going to go through this article and mind you, the rules clearly state you cannot impersonate people. You have to be who you say you are. And a lot of this article is Kotaku just fuming, fuming at the thought that uh, the plebs like me can get a verification badge here in a little while. But comedians, actors, chiptune artist suspended from twitter because elon musk has no idea what he's doing no he well i don't think he has any idea what he's doing but he's he'll burn down the platform and i like that comedy is now legal on twitter says billionaire melting down over people making fun of him they weren't making fun of him they were impersonating him and impersonating elon musk is actually a dangerous thing because let's say and we'll get into it as we go on but it is actually very dangerous and as it is a problem all these non these f accounts going around saying that there's somebody else and then saying heinous awful things and then reporters taking that and making articles about it and when it comes to elon musk you're playing with fire a number of high profile verified users have had their twitter accounts suspended over the last few days after seemingly breaking but also not breaking some new rules instituted by the site's new owner, Elon Musk. But these rules have always been in place, even under the old regime. And mind you, another part of this article is them feeling the taste of what it's been to be people like us, people like Crowder, people on the right, people who aren't woke. And now they're getting a taste of that and they hate it. Welcome to our lives. Musk who bought the social media platform despite not knowing what to do with it, how to run it, or being able to afford it. No, he afforded it just fine. He just didn't want to buy it. B 
began his tenure last month by celebrating the return of free speech, quickly reminding anyone that the people champion free, championing free speech, the loudest, are rarely interested in any such thing. Well, no, he's interested in it, but you still have to have some rules. His rule, what the rule clearly stated, you cannot impersonate others. You impersonated somebody. You got banned. Now, I don't like banning people. I think there should be a way to bring people back, but you broke the rule. Make your own Twitter. How you like that? One of the biggest reasons his brief regime has proven so unpopular. No, it's pretty popular. You just hate it. Along with mass possible, possibly illegal. No, it was very legal. Very, very legal firing. In fact, he overcompensated. Uncertainly overpaid membership costs and just general divorced guy ramblings has been his promised overhaul of Twitter's verification process. These people are scared. These people don't want. And we're, the, the way this feels is a, is a hoity-toity, I'm better than you person. Because now they're mad that a nobody like me can get verified and get that badge. They're the ones that treated that badge with such high respect, not us. Which grants public figures and those working in lines of work rife with impersonation like journalism. Wow, then why aren't you guys happy that he's implementing a thing to stop impersonation? A little blue tick next to their names. It's a tiny little thing designed to simply let the masses, the masses, the plebs. You see, once you use that word, I know you think higher of that blue check than you're letting on. Because only elitist pricks use that word. No, you are actually the person you're claiming to be. Yes, my blue check. Oh. These people wanted these blue checks. These people covet their blue checks. And they use these blue checks as symbols of high society and status. And they covered it over everybody else. And there are tweets out there, full on tweets, where people are like, I'm verified on Twitter and I have X amount of followers. You don't F with me. These people exist. And they're pissed off that me, me, I can get a verification code here soon. I can get that little blue check mark and I'm going to rub it in their face. But for brainworm reasons, free speech and MAGA weirdos have spent years obsessing over them, elevating an administrative feature into something they think is discriminatory digital caste system. But it is. And you guys created it that way. You guys covered it like that. You're just... Viva Fry says it best. It's projection through conf confession through projection. They are the ones that elevated it. They are the ones that turned it into this discriminatory digital caste system. They act like they're better because they have a simple blue check mark. They've always treated us like that. And now that you that everybody can get one, you're pissed off. Especially with the current the current uh, going ons of people potentially paying upwards of $15,000 just for a verification. Yeah, that's been breaking because of Wall Street best bets, uh, boss of Wall Street bets. I can't find that tweet for the life of me, but he put out a tweet saying that people were spending a lot of money and a lot of people were agreeing and saying, yes, they were also approached. $13,000, $12,000, to get verified. And excuse me. As such, one of Musk's first order of business as Twitter owner was to float the idea of replacing the current verification process, one where Twitter manually verifies, verifies with your people slash company that you're actually you, with a system where anyone... Anyone can pay eight bucks for a blue tick? 
See? Again, with a system where anyone can pay, they don't want anybody. They like this where you have to go through a company and talk to my people to get this blue check mark. Okay, I like this blue check mark. Oh look, I have I'm verified. I'm I'm Twitter verified. So they don't like that me, you, everyday people can now get it. They hate it. A move that has since been delayed until after the US midterm elections. Yeah. Yeah. Because we want to see what's gonna happen. And I get it, this is a little bit more of a political ep video, kind of, but I, I wanted to give my own take on this. Because of this such an astoundingly stupid and dangerous idea, they hate the idea that you and I can get a check mark now. They hate it. They can't stand the plebs getting a check mark. Many verified users have been suspended Spending the, spending the last few days changing their usernames and profile pics to the same one used by Musk himself. And, and clear and obvious examples of what's going to happen on a global scale should the verification process be overhauled in this way. Well, no. Because, <clears throat> mind you, with the rule in place, no. Very much no. You, you see, you end up putting yourself in a stupid position because you're saying they'll all do this just like we did but then you guys got smacked down and you're crying about it so no we can't do it the rules are in place <clears throat> musk widely and over his head which i do kind of agree i think musk is a bit over his head but i'm curious where he's going to take this and having spent the last few days flailing around like a sub substitute teacher who's lost the class. No, actually, he's just been mocking you guys and you guys have been flailing around. Confession through projection. Sought to cut this practice simply a taste of what's to come. I don't know what that means. Out earlier today when he said, going forward, any Twitter handler handles engaging in impersonation without clearly specifying parody will be permanently suspended. So, no. No. They're, they're doing this wrong. This actually came out after everything else. After Twitter, who already had these rules in place began finally suspending people and implementing the rules fairly. Popular Australian satire website, The Chaser, appear to be one of the victims of these new guidelines, their accounts being locked down no, not long after changing their name to resemble Musk's, despite clearly following the rules and make, marking their account as parody. They also didn't even change their name to to Elon Musk. They changed it to Elon Musk. Wait. Elon Musk. So, I'm going to give some... I, I don't know anything about this one. But, from what I can tell, probably not. They probably did do Elon Musk picture and everything. So, don't know. Don't know anything about this one. I know about the other two. Their account has, however, since been restored with the new name Elon Musk Fondles Dogs, which isn't dangerous. So, oh, I see what they're saying. Despite clearly following the rules and marking the account as parody, they also didn't even change their name to Elon Musk. They changed it to Elon Musk. But let's be real. People aren't that smart. So even being that close to Elon can have consequences not for this is where we get into this the problem with these accounts that weren't clearly parody accounts very clearly they were not parody accounts they were as I think we had a good version right here right this one Elon Musk blue check mark but it's Chris Warcraft there is nothing better than waking up and enjoying a fresh steaming cup of my own urine such a tangy way to start the day. These, th this is clearly not a Elon Musk account. 
but you have the blue check mark you have elon musk you have this that's what people see they don't see the at you have to actually look for the at but a lot of these accounts can actually impact elon's life on a very personal level impacting tesla impacting twitter impacting starlink impacting all these if elon tweets out the wrong thing it impacts everything this is the reason why people you have to specify the parody that's why we've been people have been harping on this for so long because what we're getting is again let's see, let, let's use elon musk let's replace elon musk with steven crowder because we've had full-on articles of steven crowder saying heinous horrific things but it's not steven crowder it's somebody else say, somebody else using a steven crowder crowder copy account so you get that going on you can have massive impacts they're they're not alone ethan klein has met a similar flate fate yes but what was happening and i highly doubt this that the, there was something else going on here but ethan ethan klein said well my account was clearly parody he put parody in the picture very smallly very in a very small area and put it in the bio you don't see it unless you that it's a parody account unless you click it what elon musk wants is essentially elon musk parody elon musk fondles dogs that's an example of what he wants that's an example of not breaking the rules Life hack: How to delete your Twitter account if Elon Musk was your last straw. These people are broken. They hate the fact that Elon owns Twitter. They hate the fact that they're not in control anymore. And Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin was saying these both were saying heinous, awful things, pretending to be Elon Musk. And Elon Musk had to clap back. He had to do the right thing. Now I don't like permanent suspensions, mind you, but. Again, they're, they broke the rules. You finally got you got in trouble. Now you're crying about it. You're living what we've lived for so long. Kathy Gr Even Chipsil, who is not only a huge chiptune artist, but has also done the soundtrack for games like Super Hexagon and Dicey Dungeons. I have no idea what the heck that is. Found her own account suspended today having earlier changed her name to Rainbow Elon Musk Parody. I'm pretty sure there's something else going on here. This doesn't feel right. Which, again, does not violate the rules as Musk himself stated. Yeah, that there's something going on there. There's something going on there. After both do appear to violate, what both do appear to violate is a different rule he hastily introduced straight afterwards which incredibly see, incredibly seeks to stop verified users from changing their display names. So again, this is a new rule to keep us from changing our display names. So basically this parody thing that you guys are freaking out about doesn't happen. Tweets will always display two names, a display name you, you can edit and your actual Twitter username, which you can't. But they, but you, your eyes always go to this. Doesn't go to this. It goes to this. In a follow-up tweet, he says, "Any name change at all will cause temporary loss of verif verified checkmark." Okay. Which, given a f the frequency with which people do this for everything from sports events to Halloween to holiday season, is incredibly funny. Previously, we issued a warning before suspension, but now that we're rolling out widespread verification, there will be no warning. This will be clearly identified as a condition of signing up to Twitter Blue. Any name change at all will cause temporary loss of verified checkmark. Okay, I can survive with that. Why can't you guys? Why can't you guys follow the rules? Oh, are you guys having troubles following the rules? You broke the rules. Why don't you go make your own Twitter? Why don't you go do that? Former NFL punter and Kotaku commentator Chris Klua is another verified user who has been suspended. 
having also changed his profile pic and display name to Ma to Musk, along with tweeting some mean things about Tesla cars. See, that can impact the Tesla stock. That is why that is not allowed. That is why it's so dangerous what you guys were doing. That's pretty heavy-handed rule just to try to stop people making fun of you on the internet. No. What he was doing was protect was enforcing the rules that already existed and then tweaking them to move forward. You're just mad because you guys aren't in control anymore. <sighs> if only Twitter had some kind of existing verification process that could easily sort out which accounts were real and which were fake. Ah, uh, well. But no, you guys weren't allowing real accounts to get verified, though. The quartering was a good example of this. In his video yesterday, for me today, for me today that I watched for you yesterday, he talked about how he has tons of parody accounts that say awful, horrible things, have articles wrote about him, but they're not him and he can't get verified. You guys were refusing to verify him. So now with him being able to pay for the verification, that helps. You guys were gatekeeping everything. You guys weren't allowing people to get verified. So, no. Quit crying. We're about to get verified. You guys aren't in control anymore, so quit your crying. It's weird that all these accounts were fully locked down. Instead of just temporarily losing their verification like he clearly stated, but with half of Twitter's staff fired and the other half burned to a crisp, I guess mix up hastily implemented policy decisions not knowing which hair-brained idea you actually got suspended for and billionaires wailing, I'm not oh I'm not owed, I'm not owed, are going to be the norm for the foreseeable future. They hate the fact that the rules are being implemented equally now. We've been living under this for so long, and they hate, hate the fact that it's about to be implemented against them so with that guys give me your thoughts down in the comments below if you like the video give it a thumbs up share it out with all your friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a video and go live and i'll see you on the next one bye for now